Alright, I know I'm a little bit late to the game, but I had a few goals for this year that I wanted to take a little bit more seriously, and I thought the best way to do that would be to give myself the constant reminder of a little vision board. So I was setting out to make one of those in this video, and I've never actually made one of these before, but I did do a little bit of research and it feels pretty self-explanatory, so how about we just get started? Okay, so before we actually get started with making the vision board, I want to take a look back at 2023 and the goals that I had made for that year and see what kind of progress I made with those. So actually, I will say right off the bat that in 2023, I didn't start out with any goals and I didn't actually write down any goals until about halfway through the year when I got my first planner. And to be honest, like writing goals for the year has never been my thing. I've always just kind of taken them pretty casually and like had like more of like a day by day approach. But I think this time I would benefit a lot more from writing them down. And about that time of year, which I believe was around August, I actually did start to kind of develop some more goals um, that were art related and I actually started writing them down. Okay. So the first of my goals for 2023 was to start art socials is what I had written down. And the funny thing about this is by art socials, I really just meant Instagram. I didn't really have any ideas of other places to post art, but I don't actually really like Instagram. And I thought I'd give it a try anyway and just post photos of my paintings and stuff on there for a little while. But the thing is, I'm not really a big fan of making the kind of content that does well on Instagram. I'd rather make longer videos like this for a platform like YouTube than make shorter videos or post a lot of photos. Um, and that's okay, but I just found that after a little while it wasn't really doing it for me and I wasn't really interested in continuing. So I actually just decided not to post on there at all anymore. I don't really even log on. Um, even though it's nice sometimes to go and look at other artists' work, most of the art that I consume is on YouTube, Pinterest, etc. The second goal that I had was to start an Etsy store, and I didn't, I didn't get that one done. But it is actually still in progress. The main thing with this is that I kind of underestimated all of the work that would go into starting an Etsy store in a way that would really work for me. And then it also kind of became second priority when I started making this channel because I put a lot more of my free time and effort into making this channel than I did the Etsy store, so it's fallen a bit behind. But it really shouldn't be too much longer until I can actually get that done. And I do have some kind of more actionable goals to get that done throughout this year. So it really shouldn't be long till we get there and it's still in progress. So I'd give myself maybe a half point for that. Okay, the next goal that I had was actually to start this YouTube channel. And the funny thing about this goal was that I wasn't really planning on doing it almost at all until I had a camera in my hands which I got for taking photos of art. And it's not even the best camera for making videos, but it definitely does the job, so it's been working. But I'd say that this is probably the goal that has paid off the most and has had a lot more of an impact on my life because it's kind of forced me to get a bit outside my comfort zone and like start learning some more skills that I otherwise would have never developed. So it's definitely been a worthwhile journey and to anybody who's debating trying to make their own videos, like I would just say do it. The worst thing that could happen honestly is nothing and so yeah, just give it a try. The next two goals um, are a little bit vague, to be quite honest with you. They both have to do with becoming comfortable with drawing, specifically digital drawing and also portrait painting. But the thing is, I never defined what comfortable meant to me and that I think is what ultimately put me behind in this. And I never really made a consistent effort to learn these things, kind of because I was uncomfortable with them, which, you know, just 
creates a whole loop. Mm. But the good news about this is that, at least for digital drawing, that's definitely something that this year I'm working on becoming a lot more comfortable with by making sure I do it more regularly. And by the time you're seeing this, I should actually have my first speed paint video up. And so I'm hoping to do a lot more of those because I think that's going to push my progress more than just trying to do a portrait every once in a while. So overall, 2023 wasn't like a major year for personal goals. However, considering the fact that I didn't really make a lot of personal goals and write them down in past years, it's probably the most successful for me, I guess. Um, if anything, I think it just kind of set me up for this year's goals so that I could take them a bit more seriously and have a place to start from and kind of know what the framework is going to be. So before I could start putting the board together, I needed images. And of course, before I could get images, I needed to figure out exactly what my goals were for this board. I'm not going to share my specific goals here right now, but I will tell you a little bit about them. I split my goals into a few categories, YouTube, making art, and writing. I really want to improve in all of these areas of my life this year, so my main focus was just on expanding my skill set in general. One thing that the videos I watched told me was to try and pick specific numbers and to be ambitious with it. So you'll see when I create the board that for the YouTube part, I went with some numbers that feel pretty high compared to where I am right now. I will say I felt a little uncomfortable doing this because I normally don't like to overestimate too much. But after watching those videos, I figured that the worst thing that could happen is I don't quite reach those numbers. And that's not really a risk. So I went with it. I also chose to emphasize digital drawing and art in general since I have some time to make up for in learning those things. On this channel, I haven't really talked about my interest in writing, but it's something that I like to do and I have been doing for a while. I have some story ideas I'd like to see become actual books someday, so it was important for me to include those in the board. Speaking of writing, I also made it a goal to try and write several short stories this year. So if anyone is interested in reading those, maybe I'll upload them somewhere and share it here sometime. I like to write stuff that falls into the category of like thriller, mystery, general spooky kind of stuff. So if that sounds good to you, let me know. Once I had all of the images I needed for this board, I printed them out and I got to work. Got my images here and now I just need to cut them out. Anybody asks, this is a whiteboard. However, I am going to be using Sharpies on it. For clarification, this whiteboard has some very unfortunate streaking on it that you can't really see here, but it's very apparent in person. And yes, it is from dry erase markers. And yes, I have tried different ways to get rid of it. I actually didn't use it for years because of this, so that's why I chose to use it to be the background of this board. Anyway, one of the other pieces of advice I got from some of the tutorials I watched was to pick images that evoke the feeling you associate with the goals that you pick, which is why I tried to mostly pick images 
that didn't have any other people in them, except for the one I photoshopped myself into. And then when I was laying these images out, I made sure to put the words that I felt were best for the board right in the center. And once it was all laid out the way that I wanted it to be, I used some double-sided tape to put the images down. And once all of the images were down in place the way I wanted them to be, it was finally time to get to the fun part, which was drawing on the board with my selected Sharpies. To be fully transparent, when I started making this board, I did not have a specific layout or look in mind. At first I had thought that I should make it an aesthetically pleasing board for the sake of the video, but I ultimately chose not to do that. Since this board was meant to encourage me in my goals for this year, I didn't want to turn it into something that was only made to please other people. So instead of making it neat and tidy, I just drew whatever I felt like in the moment, including some phrases to help me stay centered on what my goals were about. I will say that even though it's a bit chaotic, I do like how this board eventually turned out. And I didn't plan it at the start, but I realized that all of my goals were actually centered on growth and progress, not necessarily specific numbers, money, or outcomes. And this is very important to me because I find that sometimes I tend to focus more on results than process, and that tends to ruin the experience. This year, I want to be more process oriented in the things that I enjoy rather than results oriented so I can not only develop my skills further, but also feel more secure in myself as an artist for the sake of creating and not for the sake of performing. I actually haven't even really referred to myself as an artist very much throughout my life because I felt like the title came with results. But now I feel like it's more dependent on habit, especially since the results I was looking for were always changing. So in order to achieve the progress I'm looking for this year, I need to approach it from the perspective that I already am the artist I want to be. Otherwise, I'll keep putting off projects until I'm whatever I think good enough is that day. Once this board was finally finished and decorated the way that I wanted it to be, I used some Velcro strips to just hang it up against the wall, and I put it right above my bed where I could make sure that I see it quite often every single day, so it's a constant reminder of what I was trying to achieve this year. Okay, it's been a week since I made this board and before I go I just kind of want to give a one week update because I've already been seeing a fair bit of improvement since I made this board and I think it's because when I look at it first thing in the morning and also when I go to bed I just kind of picture the kind of progress that I want to make in my art and creative practices this year and that helps to motivate me to make sure that I put time into my day to work on these things consistently. 
And so already throughout this week, I've been really working on these things, especially the drawing and writing portions. And specifically with drawing, I've really been trying to nail down my understanding of anatomy and drawing more dynamic poses. And I think it's really been paying off. So that's really good news. And if the rest of the year continues on this way, I can imagine that within the span of a year, I should really see a lot of progress. So by that time, hopefully I can come back to you guys and tell you that it was a big success. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed watching me make this vision board. If you did, you can always leave a like. You can also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this. But that is really all that I have to share with you for this video. So I will see you next time. Um, <laughs> yeah, better than before. So <laughs> say hi. She said hi. What if I just put this in my hair? Does this work? Oh my god.